Hey guys, it's Cthulhu here. As you guys may now know, um, I love to host events for the masses and I do this on Zybez as an official events coordinator. And I've shown you some of my events on this channel, like uh, last week's Dagonoth Kings event. And also in the past, I've showed you my uh, Tormented Demons event and my Saradome in God Wars event. Um, so like I promised last time, I wanted to uh, give you short notice on YouTube about my upcoming events, and this is one of them. Tomorrow, on the 30th of October, which is a Saturday, I'll be hosting a Stealing Creation event at 8pm uh, British Standard Time, and that's 3pm Eastern Standard Time on World 91. Uh, and come into my CC, that is Cthulhu, that's C-T-H-U-L-T-H-U. Um... So this event is being held on behalf of my clan, the Lava Dragons, of which I am the leader of, and we're using the event to try and recruit people. But uh, before I talk more about my clan, um, this event is primarily for people to come, have fun, meet new people, including myself of course, and uh, obviously to get yourself some nice stealing creation points for those uh, useful clay tools or armor or weapons uh, that give double experience. So regardless of whether you might be interested in joining my clan or not, you could come along anyway for the fun of it. Um, all the details about the event and about my clan, which I'll talk about in just a second, can be found in the description. Uh, that includes event times, dates, um, and my CC, and also links to my clan forums and member list in case you want to check us out before you join. And uh, so yeah, um, talking more about my clan now, uh, the most important thing to know about my clan is that we allow multi-clanning. Uh, we do not pretend to be everything that you want in a clan. We call ourselves a community clan. Um, and that's because it's more about the community, getting to know people, making friends that you'll probably know as long as you play. Um, at least that's how it's been for me personally. I mean, obviously a lot of your friends are going to be people that you know from your clans and groups. And uh, so, yeah, uh, just to come and make friends. Um, so anyway, as a community clan, we don't host a particular type of event. Uh, but we host them all, or at least we try to, um, from PVM to PVP, um, skilling, and we hold competitions, both internal and against other clans. So we aren't hardcore in any particular way, and so we understand that our members want to join PK teams and uh, PVM teams. I myself, I'm in Dragonwood for PVP, and I'm in Woundscape Skillers for um, for more skilling events. And uh, a few months ago, I was in World 77 unit for, for PVM, though I was only in the unit for about a week because um, I realized I wasn't as crazy about going to Bandos as much as they were. Uh, so I didn't really fit in, so I left them. So if you're in a clan, you could join us anyway, as long as you have the permission of your clan leader. And if you aren't in a clan, you could join us and still have the freedom to join others at a later stage. Um... In terms of wars, the Lava Dragons have a 15-3 war record, that's 15 wins, 3 losses, uh, and wars, I mean, at clan wars, and that's in the last 3 years, um, our record is probably a lot worse if I include the other 4 years we've been around, but, um, but I don't actually know that record, we only really started recording our record uh, 3 years ago, and it's 15 wins, 3 losses. And in terms of skill wars, uh, we have an 8 nil record, that's 8 wins, 0 losses. We remain undefeated as, a skill, as far as skilling wars go. Uh, that's not because of the quality of our opposition, uh, because in the last few wars, which I've organised personally, I've always looked for opponents statistically superior to ours, sometimes overwhelmingly superior. But um, because of all the years our clan has lasted, people have grown during that time. Uh, because they've stayed with us a long time and so we have like this core unit in our clan that's immensely strong despite our low requirements and I'd go as far to say as the Lava Dragons could probably beat my current skilling clan, uh, RuneScape Skillers um, in a small war where the core of our clan could go compete uh, that is to say if it was a large war I'm pretty sure we'd lose because of the average um, in performance, uh, but if it was just our core clan, I reckon we could actually beat my skillers clan. So that's how that's how good we are at skilling. I mean, I personally, I'm 
2,400 and something. <laughs> two th yeah, 2,400 something skill. Uh, we have a maxed player in our uh, in our clan who's been with us for four or five years now. So yeah, all our high levels have been in the clan for quite a long time. So uh, yeah, we have a really strong core. Um, so talking about requirements, uh, which I've so far managed to dodge, we have low requirements of only level 80 combat or 1,400 skill. So you don't have to have both. You either have to have level 80 combat or 1,400 skill. We don't care too much about how good you are at the game. We only care that you're a friendly person and that you're active. Activity is very important in our clan. Having said that, the reason we have requirements at all is because we don't want complete noobs in the clan who can't do half the stuff that we do, um, even simple things like having 70 range to go to Armadil. If we, if we didn't have requirements, there'd be a lot of events that people couldn't go to, and we wouldn't want that. Uh, because that's what being in a clan is all about. It's about meeting people, but it's also about going to events with them and uh, interacting with them and having fun. So I've said more than enough about my clan. Uh, you probably even forgot what this video was really about, and that's uh, coming to the Lava Dragons event tomorrow. Stealing Creation, so that's tomorrow, the 30th October, Saturday. Uh, 8pm British Standard Time, 3pm Eastern Standard Time on World 91. So uh, join my CC during the event, and I hope you all have a lot of fun. So see you until next time.